because Alex said it would be a good idea to make a video when you're sick. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to work out. It's what time? 7.45. I'm going to eat this. I'll probably eat something else and then I'll go in my room and hopefully fall asleep early. Because I'm not like terribly sick, but I definitely don't feel good. Um, that leads me to my next point. Uh, it's when I'm sick, being a hard gainer, like it's really just about eating. So, you know, yeah, I ate my prep meals, but other than that, like I'm going to eat this grilled cheese sandwich and tomorrow, you know, I'll eat whatever sounds good. I'm not going to try to force myself to stay really, really clean because I know that I'm not going to get all of my meals in. So the goal for me when I'm sick is really just to like eat and make sure I keep my calories up so I don't lose weight. Because if I don't, I will drop like, I mean, I've dropped seven, eight, nine pounds before easy being sick for like two or three days. So can't have that happen. So I'm going to eat. I think I asked. I also got some ice cream, so I'll probably eat some ice cream. It helps soothe the throat, cause, dude, it hurts like when I wake up at night. Like I feel like there's a giant knot in the back of my throat. Like I can't even. It's terrible. Better not get me sick. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna respond to that. I'm not gonna. grilled cheese sandwiches here. I have my bowl of tomato soup. Soup. And then I'm gonna have some of these hint of salt, low sodium Ritz crackers. I'll probably have like half a sleeve. <laughs> I haven't ate a whole lot today, so it'll be fun. And then I have an orange. And I got my water. So that's what I'm about to do and I am going to do some emails real quick just to let people know that um, you know I'm not 100% right now and I'll get to their plan or I'll get to their email tomorrow just updating them so that they know what's going on I need to be proactive like when I'm sick and either put it out of office you know type deal on or let people know that you know, I'm not feeling great I'll get to this tomorrow or whatever the case may be so I need to do that and then I'll, <coughs> I'll actually respond to some comments still as well tonight um, just a few and then yeah I'll call tonight I still have some ice cream to eat which I'm excited about that because like <clears throat> my throat hurts so that'll be good homemade brand butter pecan that's a good flavor butter pecan cookies and cream those are probably my two favorite ones I'm pretty basic but I don't know what I'm going to watch it. If you guys haven't seen Eddie Strongman, if you haven't seen Eddie Strongman on Netflix, I highly recommend it. <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to watch yet, though. And also, when I get sick, I, uh, I tend to ramble more than normal. And I'll start a sentence, and I won't be going anywhere with it, and it'll just end. So... Alright, what's going on guys? Woke up. Honestly not feeling much better at all. Almost feels worse. But I will tell you that I'm trying to get into a better habit of recording every single day regardless. Because if I can get into that habit, then I can do, you know, more uploads. I can do like daily uploads of not just like vlogs but also like the cooking videos that I've been doing and stuff like that I'll probably end up picking up a recording tomorrow because I'm not gonna do much today I just need to get better 
want to get better. So no one likes to feel sick. It's terrible. Feeling better. Again, I didn't record. So like that first part of the recording was from Thursday night. And then I only recorded like a very small little clip on Friday because I slept almost the entire day, I feel like. I hardly ate anything, which is not good. I don't even want to step on the scale. And then it is now like 3.30. Is that right? 3.30? What time? 4 on Saturday. So, and I basically snacked a few, you know, like I had a few snacks and real small meals those two days. I didn't eat hardly at all. I didn't do what I was supposed to do, but I, I mean, I was so sick. Like I had such a bad headache if I was awake that I didn't even want to eat. So this is like my first actual meal meal since, you know, a few days. And it's Chipotle. Yeah, so it does that. So I went and got a few things that I don't normally get because I wanted more calories. I don't always get guac, but um, so I got guac. I got cheese, which I hardly ever get. I got tomato, which I always get. The corn salsa. Um, quite a bit of rice I asked for. And then I got white rice. I got veggies. And then I also got um, steak and double steak. So, so double steak. That's what's here. That's what I'm about to eat. And I got a Sprite because it just it feels good to drink something other than water. I had a couple Powerades yesterday. But the carbonation feels good and it helps, I think. It's like five o'clock and I've hardly ate anything. Not because I'm not hungry. I just started eating it and it was really good. I had to finish up edits. Sometimes they take longer than what I think they're gonna take. So now the video is producing. And I know I've said this a few times. I am going to create a series around like the type of cameras that I use, the ones I started with, to the ones um, that I use now, to the video editing software I use versus ones I have used previously, stuff like that. Right now I'm using Cyberlink Power Director. It's like a one-time payment, whereas, you know, like Adobe Premiere and I think a few of the other ones you pay a monthly fee. This one I think I paid like 100 or 125 maybe right away and then, you know, I just install it and I have it. The problem with it is it's a pretty slow um, at rendering, so like rendering time when I'm trying to produce the video. Um, you know, this video is it's a little longer, uh, it's 18 minutes, but it'll take anywhere from, you know, 25 minutes to, to like 45 minutes, almost an hour sometimes, just depends on you know, how many edits and stuff are in there. So I am looking at getting a different editing software. I just don't know if I want to pay, I think, to get Adobe Premiere. Um, it's like 19 bucks a month, so I don't know if I want to bump to that yet. I don't know what I'll get. I've heard decent things about Sony Vegas, but also, you know, if I'm going to go to a Adobe Premiere, you know, why buy something in the meantime? Why not just go to it right now? So I don't know. I think I'm going to get a trial of it and just play with it. And that kind of leads into, you know, a lot of people ask me, how did I learn to edit? You know, how do you get started editing? You just do it. You just get a trial of a product and you get some footage, you upload it, and you just play around. Um, you could watch other videos on how to do it. I mean, I've read a few, like, blogs and, you know, I watched a few clips of videos, but me, the way that I learn best is I download stuff, um, like the editing software, and I just play with it. I try things out, I figure out what I want to do. Now, if there's something that, like, I... I think that I want to do, but I don't know how to do it, then I'll search for one specific thing, like how do I make a, a transition, like fade in, fade out, or flicker, whatever. If I can't figure it out after, you know, five to ten minutes of looking around um, through the software and playing with it, then I'll go look for, like, how do I make it do that. But overall, I learn best by just trying it out. So honestly, like, if you guys don't know how to do it, just try it out. I mean, it would take me hours upon hours when I first started editing to like edit a three minute video. A three minute video would probably take me like, I don't know, three hours. 
like it's probably more than that probably like three to three to six hours something stupid like that because I didn't know what I was doing but it takes time so don't feel like if it takes you longer than what you think it would take other people like don't think like that just go as long as you know damn geese but just you know what is happening do what you can, you know, don't get worried, don't be all worried about, like, how long is it taking me. Just try it. I'm gonna go kill those geese now, though. It's like every time I'm about to record, these two geese, they go at it. I don't know what's happening. Oh, shit, see? Whew, scare them. Alright guys, so I did end up working out a few days later. It wasn't an, an intense workout, it was just to get the heart rate up, get a sweat going. Um, I did, you know, high volume, like 15 to 20 reps for each exercise, and I really just did one to two exercises per muscle group. So again, I'll put all of the uh, reps and sets and exercises in the description, so check it out. But I also made sure that I let everyone know if they came up to me. I'm like, hey, I'm getting over a cold. You might want to stay away from me. I'm just here to do my thing and, you know, get a little sweat going. So stay away. And I did wipe down all my machines as well. So don't worry about that. I'm not trying to get anybody else sick, but, you know, it was good to get this little workout in. It felt good to get out of the house. And like I said, get a nice sweat going. So I do not regret it at all. I think it helped. But that's really it for this commentary and video. So thanks for watching, guys.